Hello guys, we're on chapter six of The Puppy Place Shadow. The next day, Lizzie decided it was time to tell everyone in her class about Shadow. First of all, he was such an amazing puppy that she just had to boast about him. And second of all, he really did need a home. Maybe it would help to spread the word if she told people at school. When the Petersons were trying to find a home for Goldie, they had put up signs. Lizzie was planning to make a sign about Shadow as soon as she had time. The minute the morning meeting began, Lizzie raised her hand. When Mrs. Abson called, her, called on her, she started telling all about how her family was fostering Shadow and how cute and funny and smart he was. He even kept my little brother from falling down the stairs, she reported. Maria gave her an admiring glance. He sounds like a great puppy, she said. I wish my family could take him, but we already have a dog. His name is Simba, and he, I forgot to say that Shadow already knows how to come when you call his name, Lizzie interrupted. She didn't even mean to be rude. She was just excited about Shadow. When she saw Maria's face fall, she felt bad, but it really was still her turn to talk. Anyway, if anybody hears of a really nice family that's looking for a dog, let me know, Lizzie finished. We'll be sure to do that, said Mrs. Epson. A wonderful puppy like that deserves a special home. After that, Noah had to tell about how his guinea pig was going to have babies and Daniel sat, said that his pet snake was shedding its skin. And Caroline said that her cat, Flower, liked to catch mice and leave them in her dad's slippers. It was like pet day at morning meeting. We're going to meet a very special pet tomorrow as part of our unit on Helen Keller, Mrs. Abson said. Her eyes were sparkling. But it's a surprise. Lizzie saw her glance over at Maria. Maria blushed. What was that about? Before she could ask any questions, Mrs. Abson said it was time for math. As they headed for their desks, Lizzie touched Maria on the shoulder. Is it your pet that's coming? She asked. It's a surprise, Maria whispered. Lizzie made a face. Maria was probably just still mad at Lizzie interrupted was probably just still mad because Lizzie interrupted her. Oh well, she could keep her dumb secret. Once again, the school day dragged by. All Lizzie wanted to do was spend time with Shadow before she had to give, up, give him up. When the day was over, she raced out of school, hardly waiting for Sammy and Charles. Where's Shadow? She demanded when she found her dad in the kitchen. Probably upstairs with your mom and the bean, Dad said. Want me to make you some ants on a log for a snack? Ants on a log was one of Lizzie and Charles's favorite snacks. It was celery sticks with peanut butter spread on them and raisins sprinkled on the peanut butter. The raisins were supposed to look like ants on a log. Really, they just look like raisins on peanut butter. But still, Lizzie loved the snack. Sure, she said. But first, I have to find Shadow. She ran upstairs. Mom, she said when she found her mom working at her computer. Where's Shadow? Downstairs with your dad, I think, her mom said, staring at the screen. Lizzie shook her head. Not there, she said. Where's the bean? Napping, her mom said. He and Shadow played hard this afternoon. Lizzie went down the hall to the bean's room. Shadow was probably sleeping right next to the bean on the bean's new big boy bed. But the puppy wasn't there, and neither was the bean. Lizzie ran back to her mom. Mom, the bean's not in his bed. He and Shadow were both lost. What? said mom. She jumped up and ran to the bean's room. Lizzie ran downstairs to get Charles and Dad. Shadow and the bean are missing, she told them. Dad was just handing Charles a glass of milk. He stared at Lizzie. Missing, 
he asked. How could that be? Your mom and I have been home all afternoon. We'll find them, said Charles. They have to be somewhere in the house. They started by looking in all the bedrooms. No sign of Shadow or the Bean. Then they checked the living room, the dining room, and the den. Shadow! Adam! Lizzie was calling their names all over the house. This was terrible. Where was her little brother? And what about Shadow? The Petersons were responsible for the puppy. They were his foster family. They were supposed to keep him safe until they found him a forever home. That was their whole job. If they messed up, who would ever give them another puppy to foster?